Good evening, and welcome to this evening's concert as part of the Cleveland International Classical Guitar Festival. Uh, my name is Colin Davin. I'm so happy that you're able to join us this evening uh, here in this virtual format. Uh, before I play the next piece on the program, I'd actually like to share with you some interesting components of this music uh, written by the great guitarist and composer Leo Brower. Uh, the piece is called Sonata del Caminante, and Brower, in all of his music, really inventively employs aspects of the guitar that not only bring out the characteristic resonance of the guitar, but find special ways to enhance the effect of virtuosity uh, and, in fact, the, the effects of, of musical beauty through guitaristic means. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. One of Brower's great talents is finding ways to throw a lot of notes into a small amount of time that sound very fast, uh, while not actually requiring the guitarist to move very far. And so we see this at the very beginning of the piece, which starts with a little introduction, very soft and sweet. We think it's going to be kind of a pretty piece. But then he throws us for a loop and plays this. Quite kind of violence almost. But the interesting thing to me is that in all that kind of showy sounding music, I only have to change the position of my left hand once. When we talk about position in, in classical guitar playing, we're often referring to where the first finger or the index finger on the left hand is positioned on the neck of the instrument. So in this case, I'm playing in third position. My first finger is resting over the third fret. And all of that is in third position. Then I have to sh shift up just one position to fourth. So all of that noise happens just in this little tiny space in the left hand. So it's just a really interesting way of fitting in a lot of music into a small physical space. Um, so it gives the guitarist a lot of opportunities uh, to bring out uh, really exciting sounds. On the quite opposite side of that spectrum, uh, Brower uses the natural resonance of the guitar uh, to create a built-in uh, reverberation, a built-in reverb effect, um, almost as though the guitar serves as its own acoustic space. Uh, in addition to producing the note, it helps sustain the note. So the second movement of this piece begins very simply by repeating over and over the note A, like this. That's it, very still. Let me get a few more notes. But just nothing, just one note over and over again, played in a two different places, but nonetheless, there it is. And what's so magical about this moment is that when you play that note short, as Brower indicates on the very first uh, striking of that A, the instrument keeps ringing. And it activates these harmonics on the lower strings so that we get this very reverberant effect and when he finally brings this music into something like a tune, he adds a few more notes to that repeated A, each of which unlocks more of these reverberant harmonics. So we get this. Look at those notes still going. I'm gonna take my left hand off the guitar so you know it's not me doing it anymore. strings that I was playing. And so you get this just stunningly beautiful effect through a very simple process of just picking the right note on the instrument to let everything else ring and not having anything else happen on those lower strings so they're free and they can just resonate sympathetically with the upper notes I'm playing. Uh, this second movement of the piece seems like it's going to be uh, 
just as the first movement started slow and pretty, it seems like the second movement is going to be the, the slow and pretty movement. Uh, but Brower throws us for a loop, and this piece is about very dramatic contrasts. Uh, so we do get some very intense music, but again, he uses really effective guitar writing to make me, as the performer, not have to move that far uh, to get some really cool sounds. So we have this, for example. It seems like quite a lot, but in fact, I start in just one position, fourth position. In fact, you might notice I only have to actually actively move one finger, just my pinky. Middle and ring finger can stay right where they are. My index finger stays right where it is. And that's the first half of that little line. Then I have. And the neat thing about that is that it uses a lot of open strings. So my left hand doesn't even need to do anything when I change positions. It makes it really easy to have that very fast shift in position sound very smooth. He's always finding these interesting kind of hacks uh, of the instrument to make it uh, more effective and more idiomatic uh, to the style of actually playing the guitar. So I hope you enjoy this performance of Brower's Sonata del Caminante, uh, and I hope that this explanation of some of Brower's guitar writing effects uh, will enhance your experience of the piece. Thank you.
Thank you.